you here for the, for your mom? I mean, you here for your dog? <coughs> Leo, you want to be saved? Leave me alone. Okay. He went to Bible study. Brown's gone too? Yeah, they went to Bible study. Y'all love the Lord? Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you, Jesus. Does anybody want to be saved? Amen. Isaiah 35. So it's a road that there's a, let's go to Proverbs 16 and 6 first. Does any of you males who read me? Proverbs 16 and 6 read. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Now, how is God purging you? He didn't, he didn't purge you with a sword, He purged you with mercy and truth. Do anybody here know that God had mercy on your soul? Amen. Anybody here know that you deserve a worse life than what you live in? Amen. That you're here by grace and mercy? Amen. Then you ought to be telling them thank you. Amen. So whatever you're going through now and compare it to what you would have been going through if you stayed out here. Amen. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. See, my daughter's a math over there. She's just digging what's going on. But she put on real good fun. Where's the mouth at? She's right up there. So now they want to put on fun like she big dog. You know, like she would bust up a, a, a pig leg or whatever. I mean, she just talk normal, but she just a soft as butter. I see right through it. I say, so now you, you, you don't always act not because that might hurt you. No, I'm not stepping. I got me something else. You ain't, you ain't got no other thing. You got you imagine that he's probably poker man. That's what you got. He got poker man. Yeah. Cause he get it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to hear it. Can't nobody notify him or nothing. He only exists in your mind. You know, I said, Samantha, so come on now, calm down. Now, you know that's what hurt you. You, know, you ain't got to be acting out, acting mad at the world. And so, well, you hurt, you hurt. But we got a God to go to. Amen. Tell somebody, I've been hurt before. I've been hurt before. But I got a God to go to now. That's what I got. I ain't got to sit here and just, just be moping in my misery and just be just complaining about what's going on. Now, mercy and truth got us here. Now you got to go down the highway. Not 75, not 10. You gotta go down Highway 35 and 8. Isaiah 35 and 8. And a highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those. The way, wavering men through fools shall not bow, bear their own. fools. Bow fools shall not bear in. Now, now, so, you want to get God's attention. He's telling you what to do. Holiness. He ain't looking at how fine you is. He ain't looking at how slim you is. He ain't looking at how your hair do. God looks straight in your heart. And what's attracted to him is holiness. So, you spoke just like if it was a man or a woman. I see some of y'all doing some crazy stuff just to try to impress somebody. They, they want to, they want, you know, they want to impress somebody. And God just wants you to be holy. Amen. And that's attractive to him. Dress holy, look holy, act holy. Be holy. Because he's he not going to ask you to do something that's impossible. It's just that when this mind be in you that's in Christ Jesus, then you're going to know his standard. So what you're doing you're trying to live your life without Jesus. You want everything to go your way. It ain't going to go your way. Because even when you really get saved, it's going to go his way. And none of this stuff going to go your way. It's going to be the way that God wants. He say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So, so if your spouse turn on you, that's just part of the plan. Why? Because I'm calling you close. I'm calling you higher. Do I ain't going through... Hey, if there's people in here feel like they're the only one going through, that's a lie. You ain't the only one going through what you're going through. 
They let a spirit tell them, and nobody else understand what I'm going through. There's somebody in this world got a worse case than you. Up in Philadelphia right now, a man shooting up police up to him. I mean, they shooting up police. You know, they're all over the news. You know, that's the, that's the kind of world we live in. So right now, this moment, somebody going through something worse than you. Somebody dead and just woke up in here. Some, some family member mourning. This morning, they kissed. They just found out they're dead now. There's somebody going through worse than you. At least all, when you add up everything you done done, everything you done went through, everything that happened to you, look where you at. Thank you, Jesus. In the house of the Lord. You mean to tell me you can't tell him thank you? Thank you, Jesus. You mean to tell me God ain't good enough for you to be alone with him for a little season? You can't be alone with him, just you and him? When you can say, he got my mind. We were coming up with them boys and other girls. We were hen picked. Said, man, that girl got your mind. Me and Brian, you remember that? Yep, sir. Yeah, I said, that girl, that man. They said, what's wrong with him? He told me to stand up because he daydreamed. Yeah. You know. I said, man, that girl got his mind. I said, man, what, what are you standing up there looking like a zombie? She got his mind. Why are you a dump truck? We used to call him dump truck. <laughs> Take all his money and get stuff. <laughs> so, man, yeah, that's a dump truck. That, I had a dump truck. That is mine. But that old man used to be out there, uh, being Brown, used to be out there to the flamingo. <coughs> flop, flop. You remember oh, flop? Oh, 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 Isaiah 51. The Lord wants us to be holy. He wants us to be holy. And he wants to produce some fruit. You don't want your holiness to sum up just for your testimony. Just to say, I don't drink no more. I don't smoke no more. I don't do what I used to do no more. That's, that's not the summary. The summary is that he wants us to stay saved. And we're supposed to be helping somebody else get saved. That's the summary uh, of your whole life. That's what God called producing fruit. So if the fruits of the Spirit are manifested in your life, then your souls will be the results that you are reading. So it's going to be all about that. My prayer, when Paul said, ask God for anything last night, I said, Lord, save him, you know, save souls. I mean, I mean, what a million dollars gonna do? We can we can we can buy some more buildings, but then then there ain't, there ain't no souls in that. Save souls. So I said, save, heal, and deliver. God healing people just on the fast. Several testimonies. They just they just shy about it and so forth. You, you can't even tell people what God has did to you. You're scared to tell the whole world. Isaiah 51 and 1, what it say? Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness. Ye that follow the Lord, look no, into the no, wrong. No, 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 you got to read that again. Ye that seek the Lord. So start all over again at the first verse in the beginning. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness. Ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are wed, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are dead. He said, Now, I done dug you out of a hole. You was in a hole, and I went down in the pit and yes. got you out. Yes. He said, Now, you need to look at the rock, because you're supposed to be a piece of that rock who got you out that hole. How many of y'all know God got you out of hole? Amen. You was in the month, the mile. Yes. You matter of fact, some of y'all was in quicksand. Yes. The harder you try, the more it sunk. Come yes. on. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Yes. 
He pulling you out of a hole, and then you gonna sit over here like I, I, I said, no, nobody supposed to bother me. Nobody supposed to, you know, everybody supposed to treat me nice. You just stop. Somebody beat you up when you was out there with the devil. People stole from you when you was out yeah. there with the devil. They lied on you and everything. Yeah. Matter of fact, you wasn't the player. You got played on too. <laughs> they acting like some mouth. <laughs> like she beat up anybody who was on the hook. Don't love me no more. I beat you up. She want to fight. Yeah. They ain't going to do nothing. Y'all love the Lord? Amen. You know, you know, Amy and Silver trying to get out of the fast bag. You know, you know, they trying to get out of Amy, you on your seventh day yet, Amy? You on your seventh day yet? Tomorrow? Well, I started Monday. I couldn't get home last night. She on video eating the food that I supposed to be. She on video eating. Before I get home, well, this is very tasty. <laughs> you know, all on video talking about how tasty it is. We had those stuffed peppers with stuff with hummus. You know, and, and we were going, oh, it's very tasty. You know, she ain't even made it through seven days. <laughs> Just like the thing she needs, don't want to tell nobody. She must have went down there and ate some raw food or something. It's a sin. Yes, sir. It's professional. It's professional. A profession. That's why I'm like, it's supposed to be saved. You talking about the food you eat, you ate, was, uh, it was sin? I'm not talking about what? You must have ate some horse butter or something. 